Swan Lake is the biggest show that we do. It's hard work. Super physical, isn't it? Especially when you stood there just at the front of that triangle and you just feel it all behind you. And the energy of men, with all yeah. men on stage like that, you know, usually there's not a male code to ballet. The physicality is, I think, what makes it exciting, though. Yeah. And that's why it's like, it feels Ooh. so good to do it. Definitely. Like Swan Lake changed my life. My Swan Lake changed my life. I felt at the time that if I was going to do Swan Lake at all, I had to do something different with it. Because my company's not a classical company. Uh, we're a contemporary dance theatre company. The idea of male swans had come into my head like a long time before, actually, just as a sort of a daydream in a way. That idea seemed to be exciting. And the more we delved into it, the more interesting it became, the more sort of psychological it became. You certainly don't want to close your eyes at two, at, at sure, yeah. occasionally maybe, but that's, but that's sort of killing it a little bit, you know. I think you keep it, keep the focus yeah. alive, yeah. I remember the first time I watched this role and it, it, it really struck me like from the first, the first moment I ever saw it. All the men dancing, the power, the grace, the jumps, the excitement. And after that, I really started to take dance more seriously. It started to be uh, something I was willing to commit all this energy and passion to. Matthew Ball and I met for the first time um, at the National Dance Awards. He started to tell me how inspired he was by Swan Lake. I think he was taken to see the show when he was about eight or nine years old. He bought the T-shirt, he still got it. And it was such a lovely story in a way, one I've heard many times from lots of young male dancers, that it was something they saw that inspired them. I think with Matt, he understands this character it, it's something that he's clicked into very easily. I said to him the other day, it looks like it's been made on you. OK. I've got some notes. You're working together as a company, and don't underestimate how amazing that is, because you've only got together last week. I thought it might be quite difficult to approach this work having gone down a more classical route. But my training with the Royal Ballet has equipped me really well for a lot of various challenges. I'm from a musical theatre background, so for me it's completely different, do you know what I mean, to mix the contemporary and the ballet together. And then with the musical theatre for me, I feel like the acting side sort of comes a bit more naturally to me. It's kind of the perfect blend for me. I always really wanted to do this particular role. It was the first Matthew Bourne that I saw. So yeah, it, kind of, it means a lot. It's almost like you feel like you've made it. For the men in this show, they need to have an enormous amount of charisma I have to say, it has to be pretty sexy, you know? So that's what we're looking for as well. I'll be honest about that. <laughs> um, it has to have that kind of appeal. And they need to be very strong dancers, but also strong actor dancers as well. I mean, I've, I've been finding it a bit tough with the bare feet and a bit tough with, um, you know, some of the more contemporary style and like actually letting myself go on some of it. But I think it's, uh, it's all part of a process, which is quite exciting. For me, it's, you know, been my dream since I, I can remember, you know, you grow up watching this, and for me, it's just every possible dream of mine coming true. It's one of the really big ones, and one of the last big ones that I've always really wanted to do. So for me, it, it kind of gives a sense of completion. I think we're all carrying that a little bit, aren't we? Like, that sense of, like, why we even began dancing. It'll definitely be an amazing moment to look back on everything that's gone. It's an inspiring piece for so many people. It's changed perceptions of dance in many ways. It still has the power to move people and affect people. And that's why we still do it and that's why we still love it.